Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to use the Zonal Statistics tool uh, to extract the mean or sum of all the pixel values in a raster that are within uh, a given vector overlay. So this is Zonal Statistics where we overlay a vector polygon on a raster and compute the statistics within that polygon or polygons. So the workflow is very simple. We're going to use the uh, Zonal Statistics tool in QGIS to compute the count, sum, and mean of the pixels. And let's also take a quick visual example of what we're going to be doing. So we've got a raster layer here with different values in it. And we're going to overlay a polygon. And of course, we can overlay as many polygon features as we want. Uh, and for each of those polygon features, we're going to determine which pixels are inside of the polygon feature and what are their values. So in this case, that's all the red pixels. And we have a total, uh, our, our statistical output could be uh, various metrics. Uh, count would be six total pixels. Sum would be four. That's a sum of the pixel values. Mean 0 0.66 and standard deviation 0 0.5. So we generated the statistics of the pixels that fell within that polygon. All right, so let's go do this in QGIS. In this case, uh, we've been working on a project um, where we're going to attempt to estimate the area of Lake Powell. Uh, as you know, Lake Powell's been shrinking year over year. It's at a record low. So it's not hard to motivate the problem of why you would want to keep track of the area of Lake Powell year over year. And so the way we did this is we used the NDWI to actually uh, flag out which pixels were water. And we then turned that into a binary mask where water pixels have a value of 1 and everything else has a value of 0. And the reason this is handy is because now if we just take uh, use zonal statistics to take the sum of all the pixels in our raster, uh, that will, and we multiply that summed number of pixels by the area per pixel, which is 100 meters squared. Uh, it gives us the area of Lake Powell very quickly. So um, in this example, we are going to be doing zonal stats. Our polygon overlay is going to be this clip mask that we used to clip the raster initially. And we'll just be using the zonal statistics tool over here. So we'll open that up. Uh, here's our overlay clip mask. Our raster layer is going to be our binary mask in this case. And everything else we can leave pretty much at default. Notice you you have about 10 or 12 different statistics you can choose from. We're just going to do count, sum, and mean. And uh, we will put this out to a temporary layer. Okay, so that finished. And it actually produced a new shape file called Zonal Statistics. Notice it has the exact same <laughs> number and number and size of features as our our input file did. If we right click, go to Open Attribute Table, you can see the statistics: uh, 54 million pixels, a sum of 2,172,000, and then a mean value. So uh, literally. This, we're going to take this summed number of pixels and multiply it by uh, 100 meters squared per pixel to get a total area of roughly 200 million meters squared. So that's a simple example. Uh, I want to point out that this was such a simple example. There's actually another way we can actually do this that doesn't involve zonal stats. It's using this raster layer statistics because essentially we were just using zonal stats to extract stats for every pixel in the raster. Um, and we'll, so we'll try this real quick, raster layer statistics. Our input is again our binary mask. We'll save to a temporary file, run that. That was very fast. Notice it produced this uh, results over here. Double click on that, it brings it up in a web browser and basically gives us the same answer, a summed number of pixels of uh, 2,172,000. Okay, so now we know the area of our lake. Uh, stay tuned as we attempt to look at the distribution of temperatures across Lake Powell.